Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Game Guides for Fallout 76. I hope you're well today. And we're going to continue on our hunt for resources. And today we're going to um, focus in on springs. Yes, springs. So let's have a look at the official um, guide for the wiki and see what it tells us. So here's what the Fallout 76 wiki gives us as a guide for... Um, uh, various items that we should be looking for and uh, when we want to find springs now notice at the bottom uh, below it says nothing is gained if a player does not have at least level one of scrapper perk at level three or yields are doubled or more than doubled i think that is a, um, a bit of residue from fallout 4 you do have a scrapper perk in this game which you can't get to level 13 and i've got to tell you it hasn't affected my ability to um to loot and find springs so um i think that needs to be changed on the wiki um and the scrapper perk in Fallout 76 talks about when you're scrapping armor and guns specifically. So um, I would ignore that. Now, if you're not sure how to uh, add items for search, I will show you that and then we'll show you a good location to find springs in. So here we are in Grafton Railway Station. I've just picked up a few bits and bobs just to illustrate this. So go to the junk um tab um, right down in the middle it says a uh, uh, component view will be different for different platforms change the view and then you'll be able to tag for search very quick and easy and you can see uh, then uh, that little monocle when you're searching will show up so here's the location I suggest you come to to look for springs quickly and there's no enemies here or very few so you're not gonna have too much of a drama so this is um, Fort McClintock and I'll show you where it is. You can see I've got very little in my junk pile just to illustrate how much you can get. Um, Camp McClintock is uh, just south of Sutton and Flatwoods, kind of southeast. And um, you'll see now, this is a popular spot, very popular spot because there is a quest line that brings you up here. So um you might have to have a few goals at this now i'll show you if you see what i'm about to see now you're going to have a good uh, scrapping exercise so come into this main area walk in here and if you see these battered clipboards in here are still there you're going to be okay make sure you take the typewriter there's another one over here now there's a few areas where the, you might miss these clipboards have a look over here here on the floor well, people miss those and you can see there's battered clipboards for days and then there's one up here look one two three and then there's another one over here one two three and then one on the desk as well there you go now I'm not going to show you the whole lot of looting here because there's a lot to be done don't forget the one on this desk either. Um, but I'll show you, the majority of your springs are going to be in this general area. Um, there is other areas, and I'll go around and I do a whole lot of looting here. Like I said, there's no enemies as such. I came across a tick during this playthrough, but um, generally it's uh, pretty friendly. And you can very quickly, even if you just concentrate in this bottom area and it looks like we just seen... Um, you can get springs very very quickly now there's a lot of ballistic flat fiber and military ammo bags and all kinds of stuff in here uh, but we're going to cut to when we go to scrapping and we'll see how many springs we actually get so i probably spent a good 10 minutes running around all over this camp looking for things so let's scrap this all down and just see what we get we get a whole lot of components but obviously we're concentrating on springs and uh, be very thorough um, in what you look for and let's get over to the um, junk tab and see what we've got. And you'll see, here we go, here. Let's scroll down a little bit further. 26 springs. I've seen people get up to 30 springs in this immediate area. You get some screws and aluminium, all kinds of stuff, ballistic fiber, living. 
So it is a good little area to come and do a little bit of looting. So there you go, the springs should help you fix a whole lot of stuff and keep your weapons and your armor and all kinds of stuff like that um, in check. If you've got some other sites that you found that um, have high yields of springs, and also if you have uh, areas that are high yield in screws, I'm very interested. Thanks for your comments on, on the uh, wood video. We found another area up at uh, Fort Pritchard where it's huge amount of wood so thanks keep keep the comments coming and i hope you've enjoyed this um episode of the game guide series for fallout 76 thanks for supporting us and we'll catch you next time on gaming for xp see ya